The hospice in North Devon says it couldn't survive without its volunteers. There are around 130 paid staff, but more than 500 volunteers who do a wide range of jobs. The North Devon Hospice is celebrating its 30th birthday, and one of its major themes for the year is thanking the people who do so much to help make it work. In the fourth of her series, our North Devon reporter Andrea Ormsby looks at the work of one volunteer. Cyril Smale retired nearly 10 years ago. He'd been a lorry driver all his working life, and now he's driving again, three days a week, as a volunteer for the North Devon Hospice. It certainly helps me with my retirement. I certainly don't get bored. Cyril drives patients to and from home for outpatient visits. I spend a lot of time with the patients in the car and also in the hospice. And uh, there's no end of subjects that we talk about, whether it's to do with uh, politics, the weather, or even our own families, really. And uh, we really become a part, a part of their family, I think, in the end. To begin with, he was worried he wouldn't cope. Uh, occasionally it's depressing, but uh, I think that's, you must accept that. It's part of the job. But it's just great pleasure to, uh, to be able to help somebody through their illness. And one of the greatest joys I find doing this job is just hearing the people laugh when they're in the daycare unit. And then when you hear them laughing so much, you know that what you're doing is right. You're meeting these people who have honed up their skills of quality of what life they've got left, and it teaches you an awful lot. And I can see a change in his philosophy of life. Instead of getting up, work, 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 it's fun and work. Oh, this one smells gorgeous. Wow, fantastic. Cyril doesn't just drive for the hospice. He's one of eight volunteers who do the gardening. I really enjoy the gardening because it I know it gives a lot of pleasure to our, to our patients. On a nice sunny day like today, they can come down and, and see all the flowers, all the shrubs, smell all the lovely pollen. Sometimes we get a lot of birds, bees, butterflies, which also gives them a great pleasure. So uh, the pleasure I get in gardening obviously gives the patients as much pleasure as I get. In this 30th birthday year, there's a big thank you for everyone who does so much to help. Our theme for the 30th anniversary is thanks to you. And whilst that thanks a plethora of the community, our staff, it also absolutely is an opportunity to say thanks to our volunteers. With over 500 of them touching every aspect of hospice life, we would not be able to operate without them. Sometimes I feel a little bit selfish when I'm doing it because it's helping me as much as it's helping the patients, really, because I often say to myself, well, what would I be doing? I'd be sat at home, I'd be bored to tears. Of all the jobs I've done in my life, to find that the best job I've got, I don't get paid for. What more can you say? <laughs> it's great, really great. For Cyril, the fear of retirement has been replaced by the fulfilment of volunteering. Andrea Ormsby, BBC Spotlight, Barnstable. One of the wonderful volunteers at the North Devon Hospice and tomorrow in the final part of her series, Andrea has been to meet a family who were helped through the loss of a loved one by the hospice.